Now, the guy's hungry, bro. I just took my little nephew to his football camp this past weekend. I spoke to him personally. Oh. And he said he got something to prove. He said he don't, he don't feel like he got a, a fair shot in Cleveland. And everybody, you know, like over, you know, just forgot about him. But he got something to prove, fellas. And I heard it in his voice. I saw it in his eyes. DPJ, baby, is ready to roll. And, and think about this, fellas. All our receivers, tight ends included, 25 years or younger. So they ain't going to do nothing but get better. I love it, fellas. Well, DPJ, baby. Okay, D, first of all, I give you a ton of credit because most people that will call up this show um, won't come in with the, the things like, I just spoke with him. <laughs> I talked I to him. I interviewed him about this, and here is what he told me. So, D, you – I don't know if this is new. I think it's kind of happened before in the 18 years we've been doing this, but it doesn't happen often. So, D, credit to you. I'm yeah, impressed. Yeah, like I, said, I, I was happy to see him, bro, because I've been rooting for this kid since he was at Cash Tech, Michigan. You know what I'm saying? So, if I don't have no love for a hometown kid, I don't have no love for nobody. So, I'm just – I'm pulling for this guy, bro. I really am. Well, we, I, I thought at one point his snap counts had gone up, but then I realized it was just the Minnesota – was it the Minnesota game, the, the the play out the string game? Yeah. The game 17 where some guys got more snaps than they typically did. I find him to be very curious. Big-time receiving prospect out of high school, went pro in – I don't remember what round he went in to, to Minnesota – or to, excuse me, to Cleveland – um, it seemed like he had a ton of potential scraping the surface of that potential. And then Cleveland pulled the plug, came to Detroit, and didn't play much. Now maybe expecting him to play much wasn't realistic on a team that was trying to win a Super Bowl. And here's a guy that parachutes in halfway through the year. He was a six round pick. I don't think at any point during his career at Michigan, were we saying this guy's going to be a sixth round pick. That if he stayed another year, he could be a you know second round pick, third round pick, six round pick. It's been a curious path. Seems to have a lot of talent. Seems to be a guy that hasn't really either on whether it's him or the opportunity, the team, whatever. I'd like to see him with this veteran quarterback, and not maybe now is the time where they build the trust because he'll get more reps now than he ever got in Detroit before. Well. He may, but they got a lot of wide receivers in camp that they're taking a look at. So, I mean, they've, they've they got their own draft from last year. Antoine Green, they're going to take a longer look at. You know, the two wide receivers I mentioned earlier that you know, Isaiah Williams and yeah. and Calhoun. I mean, there, there's a lot of guys that are in camp. They're going to try to get those reps too. So I don't know how they divvy those up, how you stand uh, stand apart. But he does have, you know, decent size, speed. You know, there's a lot of talent there that maybe was not completely tapped out at Michigan for sure, um, and, and certainly not at the NFL level to this point. He had a great year at Cleveland one year, a really good year, I should say. Um, can he build off of that? You know, But Jamison Williams is going to be the guy that I would imagine takes up all these second reps, uh, not reps, but the, uh, the, the, the targets that – were previously given to to the other receivers. So I, you get who's battling for third? Khalif Raymond. You know, does Khalif Raymond deserve it? It feels like it feels like the team loves Khalif Raymond. Yep. The coach loves Khalif Raymond. I think we love Khalif Raymond. Yeah, I think we for do what too. What he is. So I don't I don't know where DPJ is on the pecking order, well, but because I he's got that size, we don't want to take a look. Notice uh, when I picked a player on offense, it starts to create some buzz this week. I went with a wide receiver, and it wasn't DPJ. Like I I I find his career arc from Cass to Michigan to Cleveland to Detroit to be somewhat curious because I see a guy that I thought was going to be big time and at times at Michigan he looked big time at times at Cleveland he looked big time and I don't know who it falls on like it, you know we talk about expectation versus reality when Brad Holmes made the trade for Donovan Peoples Jones what he did in his time here, which was limited snaps, is that what he had in mind? Hey, we think this guy's going to help us. Not this year, but he's going to help us. Is that what they had in mind? I don't know. 
I, I mean, I would imagine they, they did sign him. So, yep. I, I don't know what my expectation li- level is of Donald Peoples Jones. It's not very high. You know, if if he exceeds thirty receptions on the season, is that is that better than I thought? It's probably around. Right, I, I, maybe I'll set the bar at thirty. 